Hello coders, I welcome you all. As you know, we already discussed types of machine learning like supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. In this video, we are going to discuss batch learning, online learning, model based learning and instance based learning. So let's get started. First, batch learning. So in batch learning, the model is trained on a fixed data set all at once. The model is trained on the entire data set before any predictions are made. So please remember batch learning is suitable when the entire data set is available and it is feasible to train the model on the entire data set. Now suppose our system means our model is trained and then it is launched into production. After that our model runs without learning anymore. It just applies what it has learned means in batch learning if we put our model into production then learning will not happen it just applies what it has learned this is called offline learning now suppose if you want a batch learning system to know about new data let me take one example suppose you have developed a model for spam classification right currently it is in production and suppose you want to train your model on new type of spam so if you are using batch learning you need to train a new version of the system from scratch on the full data set not just the new data but also on the old data as well then what we have to do we have to stop the old system and replace it with new one so you can understand in batch learning we have to schedule training time training using the full set of data can take many hours so you would typically train a new system only every 24 hours or even just weekly it is totally depend on the system you have implemented let me take one example suppose you have developed a system to predict stock prices so you can understand your system needs to adapt to rapid changing data then you need a more reactive solution so also training on the full set of data requires a lot of computing resources cpu memory space etc so in all such cases a better option is to use algorithms that are capable of learning incrementally this is also called as online learning so let's discuss online learning in online learning the model is trained incrementally as new data becomes available the model is updated continuously online learning is suitable when new data is arriving continuously online learning is great for systems that receive data as a continuous flow like for stock price prediction which needs to adapt to change rapidly please remember online learning is a good option if you have limited computing resources once an online learning system has learned about new data instances it does not need them anymore so you can discard them this can save a huge amount of space online learning algorithms can also be used to train systems on huge data sets that cannot fit in one machine's main memory please remember this is called out of core learning the algorithm loads part of the data runs a training step on that data and repeats the process until it has run on all the data this is called online learning where model is trained incrementally as new data becomes available so as you can see here for batch learning you can use linear regression decision tree support vector machines etc for online learning you can use stochastic gradient descent online passive aggressive algorithm perceptron etc so now let's discuss model based learning and instance based learning model based learning is also called eager learning so model based learning tries to construct a generalized input independent target function that you can see over here y is equal to mx plus b in case of linear regression during the model training phase so the model based learning tries to construct a model during the training phase so when the test data comes in model based learning is ready with the model it does not need to refer back to the training data it can directly perform prediction using this created model so eager learners take more time in the learning phase then lazy learners shortly we will discuss lazy learning as well some of the algorithms which adopt the eager learning approach include linear regression decision tree support vector machine neural network etc so now let's discuss instance based learning also called as lazy learning please remember it completely skips the generalization process means model building process strictly speaking lazy learner doesn't learn anything it uses training data exactly as it is and uses the knowledge to classify unlabeled test data since lazy learning uses training data as is it is also known as rote learning which means memorization technique based on repetition due to its heavy dependency on the given training data it is called as instance based learning lazy learners take very little time in training 
because not much learning happens. One of the most popular algorithms for lazy learning is K nearest neighbor. The K nearest neighbor's algorithm stores all the data points in memory. When a new data point is presented, it looks for the K closest neighbors to that data point and uses their outcomes to make a prediction. This is called as instance based learning or lazy learning. Hope all of you are clear with batch learning, online learning, model based learning, and instance based learning.